Hi Sagittarius, let's get to it. This is your weekly reading for the 19th to the 25th of December. Present position, present expectation, party time, unexpected, mm, very unexpected, short term future, which is Sunday, uh, Monday through Sunday, long term future, just till the end of the year now, next couple of weeks. Energy across the bottom, lovers. Could be a love reading, in which case it's about you and a significant other. Um, Sometimes the lover's card talks about a, a trial, uh, um, difficulty in relationship. Sometimes it's just about how difficult life can be and how we want to spend it with some significant other. You know, why wouldn't you? Um, but it's the red tie that binds on this particular um, card. And it talks about, let me just find it and read it out to you properly. Because I always get this wrong when I try and remember it. Where are my lovers? There they are. So, originating from Eastern cultures, the red string of fate has been described as either binding two persons' pinky fingers or ankles, and shown here as binding their wrists. In some embodiments, the story follows... That's my dog getting comfy. The story follows that a young child throws a rock at another child, only many years later marrying someone with a mysterious scar. Mm. So if you're supposed to be with someone, you will meet that person and the universe provides, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, love all of that. I do think there's more than one significant other on the planet for us. I think there are hundreds, maybe even thousands. I think some would give us a better uh, life. But I do think, you know, life is, is yours to make of it what you will. So you can't pour from an empty cup. Be happy. You'll draw happiness towards you. Live a happy and abundant life. Share what you have. Pay it forward. You get more of it. You know, the universe is very good at that. So your present position is a slightly difficult one. It's, it's really interesting, the present position and present ex ex expectation. Present position is two of swords. You've got this sort of frisson stalemate, these two swords rubbing against each other. The important message is being lost. The easiest way I can describe this is if you're in a relationship and you're a devout labour and they're a devout conservative, you're just going to butt heads, you know. You, you just need to say... I, I let's agree to disagree you know we can't resolve this and it doesn't need to be resolved there's nothing wrong with someone in a relationship going you know god forbid you're in a team in Liverpool and you know your dad supports Liverpool and your mum supports Everton where do your loyalties lie how do you resolve that I don't know you need to speak to a scouser to resolve that but you know ultimately it's not life and it's not life and death it's more important than that <laughs> <laughs> but no, it's not life and death, is it? So just be careful here. There's an important message being lost. I think you need to just walk away from this situation and we'll clarify that card in a moment because your present expectation is happy, joyful, celebration. These chains that are tying these three cups together underneath, there's three chains and that's talking about the the chain of, of confidence and trust and love that you have with each other. Could be family, could be siblings, could be friends, but it's a real sharing each other's universe energy that water's pouring into all three cups it's it's mixing together it's about it's a joyful celebration you know it's it's you know when you used to smash glasses t into each other and say cheers the idea of that was some liquid would go from one cup into another so you couldn't poison a, a cup because you're as likely to get some poison in yours as others so it was a a security measure originally you know crash those glasses together and then we all know that none of us is trying to poison the other one not quite so serious these days. I don't think we go to parties worried that we're going to be poisoned. But, you know, that, that joyful clinking of glasses, glasses celebration is what we're talking about here. Unexpected. Um, I'll, I'll just cover this card off. This is the Empress card. The Empress is a card of um, motherhood, fertility, pregnancy. So in the unexpected position unexpected pregnancy unexpected motherhood if you don't want to be pregnant you 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 know you're all grown ups here you know what you need to do about it so make sure you do something about it take but better to take precautions before rather than after there you go i don't want to say too much about that because you know there are some people reading coming to this reading going well that's not going to happen to me and it probably isn't but that's what the card is it is you know if someone said to me i'm desperately trying for a child you know, I want a baby, I really want a baby. And they drew this card, I go, oh, happy days. You know, it's the fantastic card for motherhood. This also is a card of that spot varnish there. That's the oxytocin molecule, which is the love molecule. 
and it's it, they've done tests where they found that um, people who you know what, what we would determine what we would call love is that that um, repetition of affection. So if you hug your partner every single day, it, it staves off that that they they are more likely to pick you over someone more in inverted commas more attractive because I, I doubt there's anyone more attractive than you, Sagittarius. Um, so yeah, that's that's what they found that you know love is is a repetition of a of a particular thing and this this idea that we're bonding together. But this card here is about sensuality. This is about you know she's touching her own skin here and it's it you know it's it that electricity it's it's giving her a you know it's um, it's a delightful sensation you know so yeah it's it's about sensations. The, the reason I'm going on about this quite a bit is because it's in the middle of the reading and it looks quite different to the others. And when it does, it sort of draws your eye. So it's quite important, this. We'll clarify in a minute as to why that's so important. But it's also about... So it's about sensuality, it's about love, it's about a sort of tactile experience, you know. Some people have a bath because they're dirty and they just want to get clean. Some people have a bath and they put music on and candles and they put something in the water and they feel the warmth and the, the feeling of the water on the skin is, is a very sensual experience. Now, both of those are people having a bath, but they could not be more different in their approach. Yeah, And that's what this is. This is the latter. This is the feeling of the water on your skin, the way it makes you feel. Very important this week. Short term future, so this is uh, Monday through Sunday. This came up for Leo as well. Um, quite simply, it's the nine of wands. You're almost there, you know. She's backed into corner. She's exhausted. She's got blood on her tummy, but she's still going to come out fighting. You're not going to give up. And it is the card of you're almost there. You're going to get to the ten of wands, which is the burden card, but your destination is in sight. So... Given the time of year, it could be not another party. It's like, yeah, but you've got to go to this one because you went to you went to Adam's, so you've got to go to Eve's. You know, you've got to do that party. And then your long-term future running out to the end of the week is the reason you're so sensual, celebratory, attractive, and everybody wants to be with you or go out with you or whatever is because you're just so damn laid back. You're just so cool, yeah? This is the king of cups, the king of cool. This is you. You are just... You know, he's he's manifesting his crown out of his subconscious. It's it's pulling together the predator and prey. They're swimming together quite happily. You know, he's he's floating backwards in a very uncaring kind of way. Love, love, love this energy. This is why you're you're very very desirable this this next couple of weeks. This party season, as I would call it. I know some people don't celebrate Christmas, um, but you know even if you don't, then there are a lot of parties going on that, or a lot of things going on that require, you know, your your attention, your attendance, um, or not. You know, maybe you like to stay at home and say sod it. Uh, you got the nine again. So the nine is even more obvious on this. You know, this this fella looks exhausted, but he's like, well, I've just taken all those ones off you. I'm holding one. I'm ready to fight. I'll take another one off you if you have a go at me again. You know, it's, that, it's a card of determination, of grit, of, of I will keep going, you know. I will do one more dance. I will have one more beer. <laughs> um, page of wands. Could be a person. Um, I'm trying to think the page of wands... Oh no, the page of wands is the uh, entrepreneur, is the uh, Indiana Jones card in my deck. Yeah, this is jumping in, to, you know, although they're cautious, they're, they're, I'm not, this is probably the worst illustration in this deck. He looks like quite mischievous, quite naughty, and it's not. This is, this is someone here, the pyramids here are deliberate. It's about someone who is determined to jump into the mystery to find out what next you know it's a bit like oh what next you know if if i go to this party what's going to happen at this party you know there's a little bit of anxiousness about it but wanting to jump in with both feet it's a bit static that card as well in this particular deck it is um a woman making a portal beneath her feet and jumping through into the new adventure so that's what this is it's jumping into the new adventure find the balance okay so mm. It's an interesting card to put on top of that one. I am surprised by that. And so on top of that lovely kind of sensual, nurturing motherhood card, you've got the find the balance card. You've got the... Um, hmm, I'm reading this 
I, d I don't like this person. I don't like this person's expression. They've got lots of money and they're deciding to give some money to someone who clearly needs it. But why are they giving all the money to this person and not to this person? Why are they ignoring this person? Because what's going to happen is this person who has got lots to give is going to give some. This person who has got hardly anything is going to share that with this person. Yeah. So he's got bugger all, but he'll share his last dollar with him. He's got lots of money and he chooses who to give it to and go, aren't I great? Aren't I benevolent? Even the, the imbalances on the card here, you know, you've got three here, then one, then two. Why doesn't it go three and three? You know, it, the card is supposed to look asymmetric. It's supposed to jar a little bit. It's like, oh, that's a bit weird. So on top of this, um, I, don't, I don't really see this Sagittarius. You could say, you know, be careful that you don't, you don't go all in, you know, and you don't have like the best Christmas ever and you spend $10,000 on yourself while there's, you know, your cousin has, can't pay the rent, you know. It, it, too much of a story going on there, but there's definitely something about these two sat on top of each other. You know, this is a very affluent card, this one. And this is, you know, making sure you share some of that wealth. And the wealth could be time, you know, maybe you've got time to go and chat to a neighbour who you know lives on their own. You know, it doesn't have to be money all the time. It, you don't even have to do a chat. Maybe they walk past with a dog and you just stop them and have a five-minute conversation with them. That's all it needs to be. And they just go, oh, that was lovely. Instead of walking around in silence, two people talk to me today. Could be the only conversation they have in a day. Yeah. So just, just be careful of that. Just find the balance, please. Um, Short-term future, you've got the moon card. This is about finding, again, finding the balance. You've got the balance here between the two pillars, as above, so below, head and heart, what's known, what's unknown. Subconscious is coming to the surface, some kind of deeply hidden, sorry, I'm, I'm pointing at stuff that's off, cam off camera. Um, the crayfish is your subconscious coming to the surface. So some long-held um, worries, concerns, phobias, they're all coming to the surface now, you know. And it is that time of year, isn't it, when we're all all supposed to get together and be happy when maybe we're not as happy as we'd like to be. Mm, and five of cups. <coughs> Pardon me. I'll, I'll talk about this in a second. I just want to see what's on the bottom of the deck as well. Okay, you need to... You've got, yeah, you've got a couple of quite youthful cards, quite immature cards, because you've got the Page of Cups there as well. So the Page of Cups is um, focus and determination. So you've got focus, determination and jumping in. Yeah, you're ready to, to party hard here. Um, you, you're nervous about it, you know, but, and some people are, but, but you, you need to jump in. Yeah, okay, okay. So these two cards here, these two pages are about they're, they're quite young thinking, if you if that makes sense. Kings are very mature and sophisticated, and queens are very mature and sophisticated. Knights are about events, and pages are are, are the babies that ju you're just learning. This is the first time you've gone to a party as a grown up. You know, maybe you've started a, a, your first proper job, and you're going to the Christmas party. You know, you're excited, you want to jump in, you don't know whether to be on the dance floor first or last, you know. There's lots of things to consider. All it, all it's about is about finding the balance, yeah? So it could be that you're having a fantastic time, you're dancing with, you know, the prettiest person at the party, you're absolutely loving it, just don't overstep the mark, yeah? Stay within the boundaries, keep finding that balance all the time, yeah? You don't want to show off. You don't want to load it up. You, in the cold light of day, you know, when you sober up, where does that leave you? You want to come away from these parties with, with happy memories that make you smile, not, oh, good Lord, am I going to lose my job in January? Yeah, that's the way I would approach this. Um, Long-term future. So for the next couple of weeks, yeah, just be really, really careful here. This is a card of spilt milk. This is the person looking at what they've lost, not what they've got. What's interesting about this card is it, it very closely follows the Rider Waite, except for this bit here. The two full cups are on top of his cloak. So when this person moves towards his destination, it's sometimes it's a card of, I don't know what to do next, you know. I don't know how to get to, I don't even know where my house is. It's right there. I don't know how I'm ever going to get there because there's a river in the way, there's a bridge, that, you know. Your your future is it's not mapped out for you, but your future is clear. You're choosing to ignore the signposts. This is, again, and we're using the party analogy. You've gone to a party. 
you've clearly turned someone's head. Someone is, is, is very attracted towards you. And you're, you know, oh, that brings back all these horrible memories of when I dated someone like that before. You're looking, you're looking at the wrong bit. You're looking at what you've lost. You're looking at the mistakes of the past rather than the positivity. So you need to take the positive bits from this situation and then go with it. And your, your, your path is there. It's clear as day. It really is as clear as day. So it's going to be a very interesting season for you. I'm just going to draw one card. Sometimes I do this, sometimes I don't. I'm just going to draw one last card. Let's have a look. Queen of Cups. Okay. Queen of Cups. Is it a cup or is it a trophy? So I think it's a trophy. I think it's success. Emotionally, you know, these are the this water is emotion. So you know, she's she is right on the edge of emotion. She's ready to step into it. She's got water on the cloak. Um it it's a card of I think is that did the queen turn up now it's the other one yeah sorry the queen of cups has already turned up in a reason reading that's why I've gone quiet she's about she's about balance she's about um, listening to your subconscious yeah yeah listen to your subconscious when when this happens because it's in the unexpected bit this is the bit that's thrown me everything else is kind of telling the story that's fine you're almost there it's exhausting it's an exhausting time of year there's some trial there could be new <coughs> pardon me new relationships could be a partnership could be a loving relationship could be work-based because a lot of networking going on over the next couple of weeks you know it's like people go there are lots of christmas parties where <coughs> People who work from home all year are coming together. It's the first time you've seen someone's feet in, in two years, you know. So there's a lot of that getting together. And and I think you're emotionally sophisticated enough to to play the game, you know. Be flirty, be attractive, because you're all of those things, Sagittarius. But don't do a woe is me thing, you know. Just just enjoy it. If an opportunity arises and it's the right opportunity, you know, find the balance. Is it appropriate to do something naughty at the Christmas party? Probably not. Is it appropriate to meet someone and go, wow, I have a lot in common with this person. We're going to catch up again in January. Probably is. Yeah. So it's about that. So find the balance, but just enjoy yourself. Yeah. Just enjoy yourself within. Yeah, I know. If, if it was a, if you were a gambler, I would say give yourself $100 and go out and have a whale of a time. When the hundred dollars is gone, whether it turns into a thousand or a million or it turns to zero, doesn't matter. Just go out and and emotionally spend your hundred dollars of emotion, yeah, and then stop. Yeah, don't do anything outside the boundaries, and you'll be absolutely fine. And there's a victory as well. You know, it's all positive. It's all good. Just go out and enjoy yourself. Have a great time, and I will see you for the very last read of 2022 next week. Take care.